This is Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my suit with, with, with hot food sitting in front of me. Angry about the recent news conference with Gloria Allred and, and the fifth accuser of Roy Moore fresh on my mind. I am outraged. I'm also going to say a few words in favor, um, in defense of Woody Allen. And I'm also going to attempt to navigate the space between sexual prospecting and sexual harassment. Unscripted, angry, here I go. To Steve Bannon and Ann Coulter and President Trump, you know, pull your support for Roy Moore now and or do it later. But ask yourself at this point, why not sooner? The accusations against this man were very serious. And his defense was pitiful. The first time around, he blamed Hillary and Obama and the WAPO. Second time around, he blames liberal media and the Republican establishment. Says nothing to respect his accusers. Just goes off and to some altruistic image of who his adversaries are. You know what? Barack Obama was trying out for jury duty at the time he was being accused of, of, of orchestrating these five women against him. So again, to Steve Bannon and to Ann Coulter and to President Trump, go ahead, pull your support now. But you know what? It's too late. You've already made your claim as being idiots, unable to make a decision for yourself about what Roy Moore is. He doesn't belong in leadership positions in Alabama and certainly not in the federal uh, nation. No, no less or more Alabama. He doesn't belong in a leadership position. This man's disrespect of girls and furthermore, the disrespect of his accusers. There is no excuse. Steve Bannon and Coulter, President Trump, you are wrong to not have denounced this man sooner. Secondly, navigating the space between sexual harassment, rape. In theory, we know when it's a crime. It involves rape. Women are physically hurt in the process. And then there's a lot of stuff that fall into this not so obvious category. I have seen a lot of these accusations that in my opinion are men prospecting for sex in a really bad way. Herman Cain, when he was accused during the campaign a couple of years ago, of, of, of he's a black man and a white woman said, you know, this hotel room was set up and he made advancements on her. And, you know, I thought, okay, he said he relented when she said no. And this was a man trying to get laid. He didn't do it very well. And whenever someone gets denied, it's pretty clumsy. However, it wasn't a workplace. It seemed excusable by my assessment. And then there's the category when these things of sexual harassment come into the workplace, and especially when the man is the woman, one of authority and he's prospecting with someone who is subordinate to that position that he holds. This gets really bad really fast. But a lot of this stuff, people do have sex and it starts someplace. And when it's smooth and fluid and successful, everybody orgasms, it's great. You don't have to go back and realize all the times that it's bad. So somewhere in there is this behavior that gets called foul that is just a really bad attempt of prospecting for sex. Now you got Anthony Weiner, you got uh, Elliot Spitzer, you have Bill Cosby, you have uh, Louis C.K., and you got Harvey Weinstein. What is this? This is not prospecting for sex. This is crazy perversions acting out on other people who are not willing participants. Whole different category. Not rape. I don't think or, or Crosby, Cosby, of course, was uh, accused of rape many times. And these other men, I, I think, sort of aren't. Now to Woody Allen. Woody Allen doesn't belong on this list. 
Certainly his behavior, his accusations prior to the time he was investigated, he belonged on this list. He was investigated. It came out. His accusers were respected with an investigation. They ended up deciding not to prosecute. We don't, many people don't like the fact that OJ got acquitted, but he got uh, suspected. He was um, indicted. He was prosecuted and found not guilty. Let's give our justice system some credit for making successful moves and for making errors. And let's move on. Woody Allen doesn't belong on this list anymore. And let's get off of OJ. The man now serves some time and he's back. He's out on the streets. I understand he's gotten some additional trouble, but I don't know those details. So anyways, that's my summary. Back to the beginning. Ann Coulter, Steve Bannon, Donald Trump, you people are fools. You're going to pull your support now, I think, or just wait till it gets even worse. And track yourself back to this point and say, why not sooner? I'll tell you why not. Because you've made egregious mistakes on who should be in politics and who should not be. It's been Tom Duty, middle-aged American, living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, I'm going to eat food. Ciao.